This is John with Washroom Development again. In this video, we're going to talk about downloading an image from the internet and then drawing it onto our canvas. Now, one thing I want to mention real quick is uh, if you're watching the last video, uh, you may have noticed that the image was pretty blurry when we uh, generated it. And I just want to quickly discuss so remember that we changed the encoding type of the image to JPEG. And so, evidently, when that goes down to a bitmap, the quality is downgraded significantly. So if we were to change that back to a PNG, we're now, since it's a lossless format, we're now seeing it a lot more uh, clearly than we were before. So I just want to mention that really quickly. Okay, so we've got our circle. We have got the font that we have drawn onto there. So the next thing is, let's go ahead and one of the most simple ways to uh, download data from the web is to use what's called the web client. So again, control period on that using system.net. That's what we need to put on there. So new web client. And then another thing we're going to need is we're going to need to get a stream so that once we download the data um, from the web, we need to put it into a stream. So let's do client dot open read um, so there's a, a placeholder site placeholder.com where you can let's see here I'm gonna get that URL so there they we can just download that image real quickly so here we go again we're using the using statements so that all this is disposed of when we are finished with it don't have to worry about uh, manually uh, disposing those so what we're going to have to do here is we create an SK bitmap. So this is going to contain image uh, information, uh, the image information that we're downloading. And so uh, let's just call it a bitmap. And so we can do SK bitmap. And we're going to decode the uh, image information that we downloaded into that stream. OK, so now we've got the bitmap. And then what you can do is you can take the canvas that you already have and we want to draw the bitmap onto that. So let's give it a bitmap. Uh, we want to give it a, so uh, we can define where it's going to go and how wide and how tall it's going to be on our canvas. So if you do SK rec for rectangle, let's create a new one. Uh, let's put it at XY, it'll be 30, 30. And then, as you can see, the width of that is 200, the height is 100, and there you go. That is now going to draw that image we've downloaded onto our canvas. Let's fire this thing up, F5, hit the button, and there you go. So remember the stacking order that this goes. We first uh, drew the circle, then we, in blue, then we took the font, and wrote the text on top of that in green. So you can see that's on top of the circle. And then we took the image, downloaded it from the web, decoded it, and then drew that bitmap onto our canvas. And that is the thing that is on top here. So again, man, this stuff is awesome. It, it's amazing what kind of possibilities are opened up once uh, you've just got some basics set up like this. Uh, you can just kind of go from there. Um, one other thing I'll um, I'll do a video later on about downloading a custom font like a TTF or something and then using that to draw on the canvas. Um, but if you all have any specific questions about Skia Sharp, uh, maybe another video I can do. I'd be glad to do that to help out. Uh, love seeing what people are able to do with this library. So uh, if you have any experiences with Skia Sharp, feel free to let's chat down below in the comments and uh, again ask questions if you need anything. Thanks.